stand-up comedian, actress, Jenny McNulty. <laughs> find one another flagging, flagging. Yeah. like uh, on the side of the road with the big old flag <laughs> you are gonna get the chance to stretch your stuff on the catwalk whatever dance moves whatever energy you would like amber to receive yeah. Good morning, lovelies. We have a special day trip planned for you. Jessica has already headed out, so hurry up. We're leaving in 30 minutes. because look at all of you, Sterling. Oh. Hello, Hello, boots. Thank you. Thank suit, body suit, yeah. Oh, everyone's looking fine. How is everyone? Good, good. Yeah? Good, good. Excellent. Well, as we are in this uh, beautiful space, it's my pleasure to introduce Jenny McNulty, stand-up comedian, actress, and host of Chat and Go with Jenny McNulty. <laughs> Jenny McNulty's Rainbow Night is now live online. For over 15 years, the Rainbow Night in Ventura has brought you the best LGBTQ plus comics from all over the country, and now you can see the show from wherever you are. Tune in on the second Thursday of every month at 7 p.m. Pacific and see your favorite comics live from Ventura. And every month we're going to be zooming in a remote queer from someplace fun on the road. So check it out the second Thursday of every month. For more information, go to JennyMcNulty.com. Goodness, what a wonderful, wonderful setting we're in. When I was, you know, first coming out, the, like the bars were it, man. That's where we met people. That's where we met. If I walked in a bar and saw all of you lovely ladies, I'd be going, I'm in the wrong bar, am I? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was a place where you just, you went and you knew your people and you didn't have to worry and think, are they, are they not? You were like, mm -hmm. these are my people, this is where I go. I, I have to say, so it, makes, for us. it makes me really sad that the bars are sort of dying out because it's yeah. like this sort of count, counterintuitive thing. So we used to have a lot of lesbian bars. Like, I genuinely used to go to all of them. So I was like, how do I meet gay people? Yeah. Now, sort of, they've all been sort of bought out. Rents are so expensive. It's a thing that lesbians are nesters. You know, they partner up, they yep. stay home, they cook, they're cozy. As opposed to maybe like gay men. Like, however long they've been married, they're still out having yeah. a martini, right. you know? So, and I feel like people always say, well, like, you're welcome in our bars now, and it's all good, and like, it's acceptable. Like, as a femme, I really miss having that safe space. There's 10 of you left now. Mm -hmm. Are you, are you, are you calling it a different strategy? Have we changed your thoughts around this, like, balloon? 
Like, oh God, it's more so like, okay, how the hell can I get up to myself? When I was in a lesbian bar, I always felt much safer in being able to express myself and sort of physical affection and being able to like kiss your girl and like all of that stuff without some dude being like, hey, yeah, exactly. you know, like, I got the magic stick. You know what I'm saying? So, um, well, like, how, so how do you guys like, you know, relate then? I mean, you have, I suppose you have the internet and, you know, chat rooms like that, but how do you find one another? How do you? Flagging. Pardon? Flagging. Flagging. Yeah. Like uh, on the side of the road with the uh, big old flag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like literally the rainbow flag. Yeah. 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 Things that you wear that pretty much signals to other queers that you're queer. So like, So what's a good flag? What, what you should I wear? Yeah. 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 I have a funeral symbol in my earring. So if I see someone cute, I'm just like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then on this, that, that's a flag right there. Yeah. Oh, my hair, hair flipping is a, I think you're hot. Yeah. Whatever yeah. language you speak. I'm learning to have self-confidence, mm -hmm. and the girls are amazing. They have been absolutely a wonderful support for me. Certainly get really frustrated with um, hetero culture invading the yeah. few spaces we have left. Right. right. You know, yeah. like having their bachelorette parties. Yeah, for some of the straight girls, it's it's a they don't have to worry about being hit on. They can do their own thing. The very reason we like to be there. Exactly. Right. They're there in a space where we feel comfortable hitting on a girl because she's probably into girls. Yeah. So right. they, they remove that safety from us. They then make us Ooh. responsible for their safety, and it's our place. Yeah, no, I'm even matter. I'm right. not about she that. <laughs> like, you know, it's like, instead of like, feeling out the feelings and all of that, like, you have to check for the flags, check for yeah. this, yeah. check for all of that. And like, our gay bars are supposed to have removed that. Yeah. yeah. I would say my strategy has changed since I first walked in. Um, when I first walked in, I was more so going to be observant and have like Amber come to me. But I feel like with the competition dwindling down, I need to step it up and show her like, hey, I'm here for a reason and keep her interested. You know, coming out is a big thing to do. And it's an experience that we've all shared that straight people haven't shared. To be in an environment where Everyone gets it. Everyone understands it. That's a that's a journey many people haven't taken, and that is all part of the space that you're in. I also personally have an issue with the fact that we're expected to come out. I think everyone should come out. Yes, why is the long, assumption right? that somebody is heteronormative? You know, right. why do they not have to identify themselves? I have to come out every every day that I go to a new set or a new job or a new meeting. Right. If I say my wife, if they say, what did you do this weekend? I have to out myself or or concealment. Coming out's not what it was, you know, for most people, thank God. Oh, I'm taking care of her. I'm, I'm bringing her ice cream. I'm bringing her wine all the time. My strategy now is just to like, take the gloves off. So I just want to show up fully today. It's sad that, you know, the bars have been sort of lost in the mix. But like, what about bi erasure? If you're bisexual and it's very much, it's a very alienating thing because mm -hmm. You, you see it, like if they're with, if a bisexual woman is with a man, she's considered to be straight, mm -hmm. you know, or like just pretending about being bisexual or like doing it to be cool. I've been lucky not to have people tell me, oh, you know, it's just a phase or you're not around, you're not actually queer, but I've noticed it in myself that when I've dated men, I go, am I actually gay? Because the community is so disbelieving of our sexuality mm -hmm. that we start to do it ourselves. And yeah, so, I try to I try to combat that as best I can, you know, and try to remind myself that no, no, you're valid. That's a very powerful point. And you're right. Everyone thinks it's a it's just a phase, or it's just oh well, that's the first step before being fully gay. Right, right, right. Or... The girls here are really beginning to listen with their eyes and not their ears, mm -hmm. and to listen with their heart. As long as she's still interested, then I'll just keep being me and hoping that it works. Generally, I find a lot of things very funny, but there's always one male comic in the club. Always. And their entire set is basically making fun of lesbians. Because yeah. a lesbian stole his girl. And he feels yeah. some type of way. And we, we, and we have to make him feel comfortable about his small dick energy. I'm yeah. sorry, I'm not yeah. so, I'm sorry. supposed to say no, that. No, sorry, that's, that's, that's true, that's true. Biphobia is huge in the lesbian community and we yeah. need to be more open and talk about it. I wish more people just said I'm fluid because I think right. that that yeah. describes exactly. them more often, but 
I'm gonna speak for us that are more on the masculine end. Like we need to start doing our work to be secure with ourselves so that we don't throw our insecurity onto someone else who expresses their sexuality in whatever way they want to. No, it, we need to have those hard conversations. I think that's what it takes is let's like literally calling each other out to be like, that's not okay. These are, these are people, but everybody's okay with me. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. You can date aliens and we're good. I just. I know personally I suffer through a prejudice where if a woman came up to me and she said she was bi, even though I think she's beautiful on the outside and I got to know her inside, just that word scares me a little bit. Mm -hmm. So that's something I think we all just need to like work through and grow. Both of you, Amber touched on it as well, like saying things out loud, hearing the reasons why out loud, I think is so powerful to, to be able to re-examine them. Well, thank you, Jenny. You are. And thank all of you for such a, you know, open and frank discussion. And you know I want to have more of them because that's my thing. Um, however, it is now time for your next activity. Yeah. With as fabulous as you all look, you are going to get the chance to stretch your stuff on the catwalk back there or the runway, whichever you prefer. <laughs> You're gonna come when you reach the end, don't fall down the stairs. I have been on runways where that has happened. Um, you just pause at the end and you have 20 seconds. It will be a timed 20 seconds to give whatever dance moves, whatever energy you would like Amber to receive. Jenny, myself, and Amber will be judging you. We will be looking for comfort and ease on the runway. Carriage, how you hold yourself. True expression of self. There is not one way to walk a runway. And have I forgotten anything that should be relevant? Mm, have yeah. fun. Oh, well, I mean, okay, fine. Do <laughs> <laughs> the essential, Jenny, I guess. <laughs> yeah, guys, have fun. <laughs> and the winner that Amber has chosen will receive a key immediately. Woo! Yeah. Making you yeah. safe from the inevitable elimination. So don't break my heart, win the key. <laughs> Take the rings a little. I think she knows where I stand. So I don't want to get too competitive, you know, because I love the girls here, but I don't know. I'm also starting to see her with some girls, and I'm like, mmm. And I want her to like have this experience and find who's going to be best for her, you know, which is me, but. <laughs> when I heard we were doing a catwalk, I was like, oh, this is mine. I got it. But then two seconds later, like, and you're going to be dancing. I was like, okay, never mind. <laughs> bopping to music but I'm not a dancer but you know that's okay I figured this was a good opportunity for Amber to get a sense of my sensuality since that's something she hasn't had a chance to see very much yet and that's all I really wanted for now strategy I will keep surprising her <laughs> Together. Yeah, thank you. For real. Um, so I just thought since they canceled Burning Man and Coachella this year, I really wanted to come up with something looking funny, so I'm representing Coachella. <laughs> I 
want to be an open book for her, so I feel like every day I get to know her better and I show her another page of me. So I will keep doing that. And that is my strategy. I just want her to be interested in reading me, you know. yourselves a little bit more the big, big, big challenge I, honestly I just recently started digging into my feminine side because I feared for the longest of attention the wrong attention men you know what I mean I didn't want that ickiness um, lust from a from a man I would rather have it, have it from a woman so I presented myself much more mass to get what I wanted which was a one <laughs> And so to um, step by here and be, to live in my feeling and be much more, like, I, I'm unlocking an inner child. Um, I'm fixing my childhood trauma doing this here. Really? Yes, you guys are saving me. All I've experienced growing up was people sexualizing my looks and they would pull out their manhoods in front of me. I would get stuck, stuck, grabbed, pulled on, and men would throw themselves on me and um, created a barrier. And now I'm just trying to, to fight it. This is me facing, fighting back. Yeah. So this is a safe space for you. Yes, mm -hmm. the safe space. And I'm changing my life for the better. Club. I didn't know what to think, so I put on my best club dress. Okay. If I were to go out, this is what I would wear. Yeah. I'm learning that there's room to bend. Mm -hmm. I feel like yesterday during basketball, there was a lot of bending, mm -hmm. and I think I was my team in particular was affected by that. So I was like, okay, cool. If this is what we're doing, I saw her first, so we out here. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm a performer, so I just saw the performance in my head, and I just executed what I saw, which included the kiss. And I was just like, we're making that happen. So I did. I had candy in my bag. I was like, I'm about to pull these lollipops out. <laughs> we're about to make it happen. That was yeah. it. So it just, it all, it was last minute, honestly. I was just thinking of it. This is like a moment, you know, and this is an opportunity for us to like deepen our relationship in a way that we've never been able, and I have to take advantage of that. And I can't just like, you can't be nice sterling all the time, you know? Just keep eye contact and luck eye contact with Amber. Show her maybe my flexibility a little bit and let her know I can be a little versatile, switch it up for her. Let's go, Lotus!
This is like. I'm not okay. I'm not okay. <laughs> you said that's cute, girl. Well, my strategy was to just keep eye contact and lock eye contact with Amber, show her maybe my flexibility a little bit, and let her know I can be a little versatile, switch it up. Okay. strategy was to lock eyes with Amber. Okay. Immediately, as soon as I walked out of the room, I was like, nobody else is in this room except you and I. Chemistry, you know, I was trying to be a little sensual. I didn't want to be like too much rocking booty, you know, and we could save that for home. Here it's a little more classy. I just wanted to see how like, you know, sexy I, I could do. <laughs> Amber and I are both kind of on the shyer side. That's the impression I get. But again, when there's a spotlight, we can turn it on. <laughs> um, and I think for me, it's actually being able to enjoy those quieter, more genuine moments, saying, I'm not a dancer, but I enjoy dancing. Um, and so I said, OK, I got this. I know what I want to do, because that's my time to be flashy. I'm typically um, a lot more shy and introverted. Um, in like day to day, I'm not the aggressive or sort of type to really push myself into the conversation. But when there's a spotlight given to me for a specific time, then I'm gonna take it. You're beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. I felt shy. I really had no strategy. It was just trying to be myself, you know, and I, I was a little bit embarrassed because I'm shy. And so I was walking down there and in my, the, the costume designer had, had told me to, you know, keep my hands down and, and I didn't know why, but it was because I was walking like this with my hands placed in, in front of me like that. Mm -hmm. And I don't, you know, I don't know why. I wasn't, I just wasn't thinking about it. I love that I have that opportunity to express myself to Ember. Mm -hmm. And the way she looked at me made me feel confident. It's like, how can I, um, man, these ones are strong. You've seen them in the pool. They're aggressive. When there's a spotlight given to me or a specific time, then I'm gonna take it, absolutely. <laughs> I'm going to ask you to take a brief stroll, reacquaint yourself with these beautiful women and their energies, and then I would like you to choose one who will receive a key and be safe from the next elimination. Amber.
Sterling. Give it up for Sterling. Sterling. So I'm going to talk to you about non-negotiables in a relationship, because I have a mm -hmm. few and I'm sure you do too. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So for me, I need to make sure that I have good communication, because I think that's the best way to understand the other person and to build trust. It's very necessary, and I don't care how bad or ugly or whatever the truth may be, I want it. Right? That's fair enough. Yeah. You're, it's nice that the person you're with communicates and tells you what's going on, then expecting you to understand without right. talking. Like, how would you know? Yeah, we Some don't read minds around here. Yeah. 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 And then the second is, I need consistency. <laughs> I need that person yeah. to be that person. Like, I don't care if your personality is like unique and all over the place. I can adapt to that. That's beautiful. That keeps me on my toes. I love that. But like, the bottom line of who you are so we can build a good foundation. Like, I need some consistency in that. What are your non-negotiables? Well, respect. Mm-hmm. Well, I feel like respect has to remain there forever. Absolutely. And growing together. Every day I wake up, I want to become a better version of myself. Okay. I want to grow. I want to change, you know, the world to be a better place. The person who's next to me is not on that page. Is That person is comfortable. Because I like to get uncomfortable. Oh my God, you're saying all the words. Um, so I think my first thing would be like lying. Mm -hmm. um, just I just want you to know that like you're safe with me. I don't want you to feel like you need to hide anything from me. Right. If there is something that's hard to talk about, like I just want you to know you can like talk to me about that. One of my biggest ones is lying. Honesty. Being open to E and M relationships. Self love. I think communication is very important and emotional intelligence is really important. Oh, polyamory. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah. I don't care how brutal it might sound, but like just tell me your absolute truth. And if your um, truth doesn't vibe with me, that's okay. And then we're not okay. meant to be together and that's totally valid. Looking at me like I'm your friend because at the end of the day, whether it be a relationship or marriage, mm -hmm. love is one thing that doesn't fade, but then you get accustomed to things. Mm -hmm. I'm a strong believer that we treat our partner the way we treat ourselves. Mm. And so, um, and I've worked very hard in that area personally, so that's very important to me. I know for me, I've been involved with a lot of people who have gotten quite possessive. Yeah. And I think there's a big difference between being possessive and protective. My pet peeve, Mike, like I just cannot, because I've had people do it over and over is, um, being like I'm too much emotionally. Yeah. I don't, oh, yeah. I don't believe there's a too much emotionally. I believe it's passion. It's because I care. Because obviously if I didn't care, it would be easier to just be like, yeah, 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 sure, sure, sure. For me, it's it's like if I have feelings, I'm not going to hide them from you. Like, I'm going to let you know how I'm feeling. Right, right, right. You know, your body is speaking to you when you react, mm -hmm, whether it's happy mm -hmm. or sad or angry, you know, and knowing that is so important. Yeah. And then how you react in that moment is even more important. Right. You know, um, it shows a lot of who you are as a person and who you are as a partner. Another big thing for me is codependency. Mm -hmm. It's a deal breaker. Like, I want to give you my empire girl, but I want you to you know to that you can do it. Too. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Absolutely. Because if my glass is empty, I want you to be able to help me out. I want you to know you have life. Mm -hmm. I want to know about everything, yeah. even though I'm shy. Same. <laughs> I am too. 
I really want my partner to be able to connect with my family, yeah. particularly my mom. Yeah. My family is very important to me. You're not too much, you're enough. There's no lying. And I've learned in other relationships that not everyone can handle that honesty. Right. Yeah, sometimes it makes them insecure or like creates weird energies. I just want to be able to be like 100 with someone all the time. Right. Yeah. Just no matter honesty. how hard it is. No matter, I love Buddha honesty. Yeah. I've come for you. You've come for me. And you've come um, for me too. I, yes. we, we challenge each other. We challenge each other mm -hmm. gracefully. Tell me two attributes that you bring to a relationship. The safety net. Mm. Like I, I will do everything in my power to be there. What else? One more. A good time in bed, that's for sure. Okay. <laughs> well, okay, I already knew that. Yeah, I knew that. I just wanted to hear it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're so sweet. Yeah. You're so cute. Thank you. So are you. Kiss you. Oh, shit. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Sam. Hi, Michelle. Hi. You're beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. You too. Thank you. I'm going to ask you a spotlight question. What other attributes to, does your ideal partner need to have? It's more that. Mm -hmm. It's the poor. Have fun with life and just be yourself. Yeah. That's all I care. It's like I'm not going to ever change your pussy. Yeah. I'm not that kind of pussy too. It's all about lust. Mm -hmm. It's I'm all mm -hmm. about love. Thank, thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you too. Mm -hmm. I want to know. What is your passion and what would make you the happiest if you were doing it? My passion, honestly, to be a mom. Like, I would love to be a mom. Everyone's always like, you're gonna be such an amazing mom. Like, I just think that that's something that I feel like, am I ever gonna get that? Am I gonna be lucky enough to Absolutely. like be a mom? I mean, you never know. I could have like something wrong with my body where I'm like not able to have a Still kid. Still ways. Yeah, but That's I want to be want. pregnant, I want to yeah. belly so bad, I want to yeah. carry it, I want to do all the laundry, like, you know. It's beautiful. Yeah, so that's something I really, really would love to have in my life at some point. So, I have a question for you. Go ahead. You are such a ray of light, but I do feel like you possibly have some walls up. Why would you say that is? Oh, that's my ex relationship. It was hurting. Mm. I was hurt for a long time, and I've been single for the last two years. Oh, wow. But like, I don't, I didn't even want to see other women. But there is some scars. I don't have walls, but I'm just trying to protect myself. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. You know, I'm healed. I'm full of love to give. Isn't it amazing that I protected myself for two years? Isn't Absolutely. it worth it now? Absolutely. Look at where I am. Yeah. Look at who's next to me. <laughs> What feeds my soul is seeing people fully actualize. I love watching people be, them, be their best selves. And I love helping people in any way I can to accomplish that. Not only healing myself, but also helping others heal, mm -hmm. which is where my platform comes from of self-love. Right. Yeah. The self-love project, That's baby. the self-love. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's a theme, you know? Is that what yeah. you want most out of life? It, it brings me joy. Yeah, I want to see the whole planet fucking healed. Right. Absolutely. Me too. I want to see people treating each other well because... It stops here. Yeah, yeah. It does. Oftentimes, like, in the house, I see you having a great time and also being nervous. And then I see you kind of go to certain things to kind of help you with that. Yes. Tell me why that is. Why is that your safety net? Um, I feel like sometimes I could get really deep and I'm not too sure if someone is willing to sit down and talk through the deepness. And mm -hmm. since there's just so many girls in the house, I feel like it's easier to just blend in and, you know, like, mm -hmm. like relax, not get, too, get comfortable, you know? Like, the cannabis usage is more like anxiety. Yeah, Like, same. definitely anxiety. Mm -hmm. But the drinking, I mean, no, it's more like I'm nervous. Mm -hmm. it's, just, it's, it's been a while, and obviously things are getting more tense, and. We all want to spend time with you. Yeah. <laughs>
That's you know? kind of crazy because that's exactly what I was saying. Because uh, a lot of people, they um, when they can't communicate, mm -hmm. it become abusive. Possibly either putting your hands on somebody mm -hmm. or you start throwing things. And All because they can't deal with their own. Sh exactly. Yeah, exactly. I can't. I don't have time for it. You know, it's like a three month rule. Three or four month rule. They they actually show who they really are within mm. three or four months. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got a lot of kicking, Craig. <laughs> exactly. Just be you. Like what For you real. Said. <laughs> Just be yourself. For real. And that's all that matters. What are the qualities that you need in a partner? I need space to breathe. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a little bit of an introvert, so sometimes I just need to take a shower and read a book and be alone and right. recharge. You know and Absolutely. As long as I can do that occasionally, then that's really important to me. I don't need gigantic acts of romance. Like, I don't need you to come home with a bouquet of 100 flowers. Like, I don't care about that. Mm -hmm. What I care about is, like, little baby things. Um, and then another one is, I don't want the flirting to die. I like, right? I don't care how long you're with someone. I mean, I know some people in my life that have been together for years, and they still flirt, and mm -hmm. I feel like those are the relationships, the reason they last that long is because the flirting never dies. And for you? Thank you for telling me that. Oh, oh qualities in here? Yeah, I'm curious. <laughs> Jeez. Um, I mean, this is a two-way street. <laughs> no, I'm supposed to spotlight you. Honestly, everything that came out of your mouth is how I feel too. Mm -hmm. I want that fire to always be burning in the relationship. Um, I want to feel like we're growing as individuals and together. Yeah. yeah, I need my space sometimes too. Yeah. Like I really do. But that's why I always say individuals and, and together. together. Right. A lot of people don't understand that there's three people in a relationship. You, me, and, and us. us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Perfect, yeah. yeah. You have your family unit, mm -hmm. right? So how do you see someone fitting into your life? Do you have space for that? Yes. Um, I mean, I think when you meet someone, it's just like where there's a will, there's a way. Mm -hmm. And if that's, you know, that person is that important to you, you'll create that space and they will naturally fit into it. Yeah. You know, it shouldn't be pushed. That's anything that you have to push is not worth. In saying that, you know, there are issues that are gonna happen within a relationship which are normal. Yeah. You know, and being able to work through it and not giving up. It's also important knowing that you have that person that, okay, so we're not getting along right now. Yeah. And I really don't want to see you. <laughs> I still love you, though, you yeah. know? How do you feel about the challenge? Well, I was really nervous. You make me nervous. I just look really? at you and, like, my eye contact. And when I see you, I start shaking like I am now. And I, I get nervous. <laughs> oh, no. What? But it's a good thing. Okay, it's a good okay. feeling, and it's motivating, for sure. It doesn't make me, like, nervous, scared, okay. even though I haven't really been able to open up or come up to you. Yeah. It's more of a nervous and a motivation. And wanting to know why I'm feeling this nervousness mm -hmm. when I look at you and the feelings that I do get when I like do get to embrace you. What about you? I want to ask you a question. Uh, ask me. I want to know just, you are so motivating. How is it being like alone and closed doors mm -hmm. and just like what keeps motivating you and like bringing you back to wanting to push? Because I know sometimes right. you get negative feedback, oh, yeah. obviously. You All know? the time. Mm -hmm. So how do you keep that strength emitting? And how do you keep like people wanting to like follow you and like motivate and potentially date you? <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Um, it used to be an issue for me, for sure. Like I wasn't feeding myself the way I was supposed to, especially to keep up with that. I happen to be surrounded by other creators that inspire me and motivate me. Seeing them like walk in their truth and inspiring and doing their thing also kind of helps me. Um, the other thing is every once in a while, my friends and I, we do this little powwow. Like we take a shot, we get into the deep stuff. The last time we talked about our mommy and daddy issues, took another shot, went to the club. I and sometimes bet. that's like necessary. We get it all out, we help each other, heal each other. And then, yeah, it's just amazing being there for each other. Jenny, welcome to the Tribal Wisdom Room. Feel smarter already. You are, <laughs> absolutely. Okay. Jenny, it yes. is our role yes. to help guide Amber in this journey of discovery mm -hmm. toward who should 
win the key to her closet and her heart. Mm. We gave one out today. We did. Do we yes. need a little context for Jenny? Yeah. Who is that person that received the first key? She's my best friend that oh. happened to be in this house. Mm-hmm. Mm. Unbeknownst to either of them. Really? Genuinely. Mm. But how lesbian is it? Oh, uh, <laughs> well, it, it didn't seem very uh, just friends. Well, she, uh, to, to provide first... a little context, oh, like they, lots of content. they both thought each other were attractive when they met. Uh -huh. You were dating someone? I just came She had just come out of a long relationship. Oh. And then six months later, when, you know, like things were feeling maybe a little bit better, then you're kind of in that sort of, uh, we're friends now, we're besties, you know? I think, I don't know if people think because I'm her best friend, I'm about to stay. I don't feel like that at all. I don't never know what's gonna happen. This is the first day where I'm like, okay, I'm not getting eliminated. Yeah. When Amber loses someone, we all lose someone. <laughs> um, so it's starting to get very bittersweet. It's really, it's fucking crazy. I know I'm not supposed to cuss, but there's really no other words. We all are just so nervous every single time. We don't want anyone to go because we, literally we've all bonded so much so quickly. And there's nobody that we don't want to see come through that. Ghana hates watching me go through elimination. <laughs> She's like, I don't want to see you go through another elimination. I'm happy you won today because I'm so tense. I'm so tense. Wait, I threw a birthday party for her, but um, her and my business partner started dating. <laughs> Slash my really good friend. Yeah. So we threw a birthday party for her. Yeah. That was our first kiss. Ever? Really? Did we get tingles in the kiki? <laughs> Damn, in the kiki. I mean, it was watery here. Okay. Let's keep it right here. Right. Well, it's early. It, it moves mm -hmm. down later in the day. Exactly. Oh, oh does it? Is that oh, how it works? Really? Like the so, sun? Yeah. Uh-huh, exactly. Oh. As the sun goes down, it's a little bit of the tingling. I wondered. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be embarrassed, Amber. <laughs> I was about to go. <laughs> I was about to leave. <laughs> Who else do you feel is managing to deepen their connection to you, Amber? Um... You know, Danae and I have good conversation, which mm -hmm. is great. Um, she did her thing on the catwalk today. I'm good. Did you enjoy you? the show? Absolutely. Did you? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a dancer, so I'm just going to do whatever comes to mind. I kind of blacked out. I think I was on the floor at one point. <laughs> yeah. It was amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Listen, no, uh, knowing and getting to know you a little bit, I understand that that was like a lot for you. Yeah. So every time I see you come out of your show and do it, like I appreciate it because I you. get you. Thank you. So it was great. Good that you saw. Yeah, I see you, Queen. <laughs> um, Chieko mm -hmm. just went from the, yeah, like the, the shyest one to really just doing her thing all the time. Right. Feel, she found her comfort zone. Everybody's so great. I think it's really just like, are we friends? Yeah. Or do we have a true mm. connection? Like, right. I want to like look at the person and just be like, damn, I want to make out with you. Mm -hmm. But after, like, I'm going to think about that after I listen to them. But yeah. just saying, like, Adora, I'm, she's gorgeous. I was going to say, really? I because your eyes were out on stalks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I'm, I, I'm trying, but like, our, I don't know, like when we're around each other, we, I noticed that both of our our body languages aren't towards each other. We definitely, mm. and so we have like a, we have a hard time finding something mm. that'll keep us going in a conversation. No, have you ever had that like with someone that you ended up dating? Where um, like in the beginning you were just like, there was no vibe or even a bad vibe and then you ended up really hitting Yeah, absolutely, them. my last ex. So there's really nothing to get from this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We've done nothing to do to help you. Thanks for pointing that out, Jenny. That's, okay. That's, okay. That's what I'm here for. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so has anyone really disappointed you? Yeah, I mean, I am disappointed that Adora and I are not clicking. I am disappointed in that, because she's uh, my vibe. Um, a Paulette, and a Paulette. Um, I want her to not feel like her being sexy is the only thing that she has to offer me. I could have been okay. more direct about the, like her drinking, but I know that she kind of answered in the spotlight that it's a way for her to cope with all this mm. and all her nerves. Do you find uh, that is that reassuring or more concerning? Um, I know it's extremely yeah, yeah. common, and right. it's not. We're not uh, passing a judgment thing at all. At all. Um, but I, I, how did that explanation make you feel? No, I. I think I completely understand that because, like, I am nervous, and I do the same. Um, I think knowing your cutoff point and. and before it takes you into becoming a different person, it's really extremely important with me. Honesty, more acceptance towards myself. The fact that I came here and I realized that, you know, I've been suppressed a lot. 
And I love the fact that I have a group of women that are like, hey, <laughs> we felt that too, it's fine. I wanna make sure that I take, I, no matter what room I take you in, especially because I do events, that like, you can handle yourself. Absolutely. Or I don't have to worry about you. Well, and you you are a part of a lot of different events, so yeah. Lambda Legal, you know, you were very active in, in the last uh, presidential campaign. Mm -hmm. So when you say you really need someone to, to be comfortable in an array of rooms, you mean in a, Real array because you're <laughs> throw down at a rooftop party, yeah. and uh, then you lesbian will... soiree lingerie party. Oh hello, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yes, but then also very very serious events as well. Absolutely, that is definitely something to consider. Mm -hmm. I actually was super worried that I was going to be eliminated the very first round um, because I didn't feel like I had very much alone time with Amber at all. And again, I'm not the type to just push myself in there. Um, and cut people off. I asked Chieko how how would she be able to handle me being in those events all the time mm -hmm. with a, a crowded room because she seems more reserved. Mm -hmm. And she said the best answer. Like mm -hmm. she's so great. Like she was just like, oh, I know how to like be there, give you your space, and just lock eyes with you, see if you need anything, help you out, and go back and do my thing. And like honestly, like when I am in that moment of like low key performing on the party or whatever yeah. hosting, that's exactly what I need. You know, anything past the first round is a bonus. And the more time you get to spend with Amber is a bonus. Cause it's, you know, we're, we're also getting to know her. It's not just her feeling us out and, and whatnot. It was stressful. Um, I know a lot of the ones that have been at the end have been coming crying or shaking. Um, so if that happens, I could not tell you what my reaction is gonna be, but I'm estimating I'm definitely gonna be shaking. <laughs> Amber. Mm. Uh-oh. It's time. So. For the next elimination. Okay. Let's okay. go. I wasn't expecting to be on the couch and, you know, there's three more, <laughs> including myself. So, um, you don't ex no, it's just not a fun position to be in at all because you start to think everything at the same time. Like, is it is it me? What is it something I have, I don't have? Is it her? Is it her journey? You know, is it mine? It's, it's a lot that just comes in a flash, but overall, my hands are just always sweaty. <laughs> my favorite guest judge was Jenny McNulty. She was hilarious, and I felt like she really brought up the energy of the room. I actually am not super privy to a lot of other queer pop culture, so I think that was really great to see, hey, there's this avenue that someone else in our community has become really successful with. I'm very sad to have to share with all of you that Kat, our lovely house cat, has had a medical emergency. And so for her own health and well-being, we've made the very difficult decision to have her withdraw from the show. I know, I know that she's been a great support for many of you here and that we are extremely thankful for everything that Kat has brought to this first season of Coming Out for Love. As I don't think I can leave you alone, <laughs> unattended, without someone to report back the shenanigans to me. We are very lucky that the wonderful Shaba has agreed to step in. Shaba, at your <laughs> Not sure if I should be concerned. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, yeah. But we're going to have a good time. And we're sending all our love and prayers to Kat. And as I pick up this chest full of potential keys to Amber's closet and heart, mm. Amber will be eliminating one of you today. There are eight keys in this chest. Sterling, due to your fabulous and fierce <laughs> runway presentation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you already have your key, perfectly coordinated to your outfit, I may note. <laughs> and you are free. Get up and get on out of here, From the next girl. elimination. <laughs> Oh my god, every time. <laughs> it's, I didn't wear the earring! It's a different, 
It's a it's different, different piece of jewelry every time. every time. Oh my God. How does that always happen? I mean. Every time. <laughs> Never not a time. What is it? What could it mean? Mm -hmm. Amber. I'm just getting in. Just I know. I, okay. I put the band aid right. off. No, but say what you want to say. It's, it's elegant. Amber. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do the thing. Do the, do thing. the thing, Amber. <sighs> oh, she's gonna. Mmm. I love your outfit, I love your vibe, I love you as a person. Will you kick it a little bit longer? Yeah, absolutely. I love the emotional roller coaster that I'm having with you, and I love our waves of like, you know, flirting and laughing and then going to that deep conversation. Right. I, yeah, I'm staying. I'm Same. staying. Okay. Same. Same. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Chieko? You killed it today on the catwalk, but I'm getting to spend more time with you in the house and I'm really enjoying it, so I would love to spend more. Let's do more. Okay. Erica? Hey. Hey. <laughs> See, yeah, this is what happens. Yeah. I lose my words, so. Um, I like being around you, and I would like to hang out with you a little bit more. We have good times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Let's have some more. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Danae. It's matching you. Right. You've been killing it. <laughs> I mean, it's the poem, it's the basketball, the athleticism. <laughs> I mean, you did your thing on the runway today. You. You're just coming out of your shell and just doing you and like living life. And I'd love to watch it. I'm sure everybody else can say the same. <laughs> Thank you. So we hang out a little longer. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> You think we're gonna have kiss and you we're not gonna stay? <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah. Oh. oh my goodness, okay. Paulette. Anna Paulette. Baby, hey, just call me Paulette. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I, yeah, I know we have some more talking to do. I feel like every time we try, we get cut off. There's a lot going on. So I would love to continue that conversation later. Did, you, did it get me again? <laughs> that red, that red. Yeah, oh. Oh. Hey. 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 Amber, mm -hmm. there are only two keys remaining. One of you wonderful women will be eliminated. Um, I think all of us, well, we still all need time to spend time together and vibe in that way. And, and then some of us, I don't know, we have maybe have had that moment and then struggling to find the chemistry. So, um, who, first of all, you are all amazing humans. And whoever goes tonight, it's just, I think we're more on a friendship vibe. I learned that. Yeah, vibe. I'm learning, I learned that too. Um, and that's it. And that's no hard feelings, I hope, everyone. Okay. A door. Oh, we can find some more time together. I'm sorry I didn't wake up for you this morning. <laughs> I was exhausted. <laughs> but um, I hope oh, we can have some more time to chill and see if we can find a vibe. 
Plants are close tree. We hang out. Michelle, Lotus, sadly, one of you will not receive the key and will be eliminated. It is my pleasure to introduce Caroline Rose Giuliani. Yeah. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be here. We're excited gonna, to have you. You guys look amazing. Don't they? Yes. This, this is, yeah, this is what I got to do with. <laughs> You're going to have two minutes to write down a sexy sexual experience. We're looking for sexy and positive. I sat on her girlfriend from there on. They welcomed me into their relationship for two years. <gasps> Being welcomed into love, yes, that's Aww. my shit. Oh my goodness. So is when all of my love language were spoken during sex. Mm. It isn't about a dick, it's about your partner. Mm-hmm, yes. oh, okay. You having fun? I am. Yeah. <laughs> 